Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. It's Sherry from Inspired by Fitness. And today we are going to do a 30 minute sculpt class. So let me just put on the warm up music and we'll get right to it. Did you, everyone have a good day yesterday? Anyone join Joan for her little workout that we did for the circuit? Yeah, hi Betty, hi Catherine. Are your inner thighs hurting from some of those exercises? <laughs> All right, let's start with a little warm up and then we'll get right to it, okay? All right, we're gonna step side to side. We're gonna roll our shoulders back. today or your dumbbells we have one exercise that we're gonna do with them again if you don't have anything at home don't worry about it not a big deal at all good kicking our butt so if this is your first time joining us for a sculpt class this class is a little bit different than our traditional boot camp or circuit classes okay it's half Half of the time we're going to be doing balance and stability exercises and then the other half we're going to be doing some stretching at the end, okay? Uh, just trying to focus more on those stabilizer muscles, the ones that support the large muscles, make them, making them really strong, helping to prevent any injury, okay? Alright, knees up. Good, Arnold's holding it. Good and reach down. Whoop, whoop. Pull the ceiling down. Here we go. Pull it down. Good. All right, let's squat it out. Pushing your bum back like you're sitting on a chair. Good, one more. Awesome. Okay. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Kathy. Hi, Cass. All right, guys. So, um, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five exercises a few times through. Okay. And uh, then end our class with some stretching today. Okay. So, again, a little bit more balance and stability today. Okay. So, we're going to start with standing on one foot. All right, so I'm going to lift my left foot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my left arm, reaching it down to my toe, standing up, woo, and then taking that same leg back out and in. Okay, so we're going to do that about five on each side. Ideally, trying to keep that foot off the ground. Again, just do your best, okay? Here we go. Down. Two more. 
down to the toe, and up, extending straight back, one more, here we go, toe, up, extending out, and in, good, okay, uh, if you have your soup cans or your dumbbells, you're going to grab them, we're going to do a bicep curl with a press, so something that you can lift above your head, okay, good morning Jane, thanks for joining me, hi Michelle, all right, here we go. On one foot, we're gonna do five per leg. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. So I'm just keeping that leg. You can tuck it into the opposite knee. If you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, you can bring that leg out in front. Good, we're gonna switch legs. Okay, other leg. Here we go. Bicep curl, shoulder press, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Again, you can extend that leg out, making it a little bit more challenging. Two more. Up, up, down, down. One last one. Good job. Nice work, team. Okay, moving on. We're gonna do a plank position. The next three exercises were all down on the mat, okay? So we're gonna do uh, exercise three. You're gonna do a plank position. And we're gonna extend one arm out in front, keeping our hips nice and stationary. You can do it off your knees or your toes. Here we go. We're gonna extend one, down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down again, you can do this off your knees. You can also do this off your forearms. So if you have a bad wrist, you can do this off the forearms. One more. Good, awesome. Okay, we will make that a little more challenging as the time goes on. If that was good for you, just keep it there. All right, next exercise is we're gonna do a side plank. We are gonna stay on our knees today making sure our elbow's right under the shoulder. So keep your knees bent. I'm gonna move this way so you can see a little better. And what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna hold side plank on our knees because then we're gonna add the clam, all right? So I'm gonna have my, knee, my feet together, take my top knee, driving it up to the ceiling and down, okay? Two, three, Four, five, keep going, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, good job, okay, other side, elbows right under shoulder on my knees, we're going to clam it out. One. As I do this, I want to keep my bottom hip pushing to the ceiling, nice and high. Four. Good. Five. We have five left. Five. Four. Three. Good. Drive those hips up. Whoop, whoop. One more, one more. Up. Good and rest. Good job. Okay, last exercise of the day. We're gonna do the downward dog to cobra. We are gonna modify it a little bit today. So I'm gonna give you a couple options. Downward dog to cobra, I'm in a plank position, pushing my bum up into the downward dog position, down into cobra. Okay? So that's um, option number one. What we want to try to do today is we're going to lift one arm through five repetitions and then the other arm. If that's a bit too much for you, keep your hands on the ground. You could also do it off your forearms, okay? So what that looks like, if I lift one arm, okay, I'm going to push back into downward dog. I'm going to reach for my knee, my opposite knee, coming down to plank with that arm still up in the air, okay? Here we go. One. If you have any shoulder injuries, be careful of your shoulder. Up. Two more. One more. 
Good. Switching hands. Opposite hand. Reach for the knee. Back out into plank. If both your hands are on the ground, you're going to add the cobra at the bottom. Two more. Good. Woo! Okay. So a lot of stability going on there. But again, if that's too much for you, lifting that one arm, remember you can do the duck downward dog into the cobra and go back and forth, back and forth between the two. Okay? Okay. Back up to start. One foot. We're going to start back at the top with our first exercise. I have my left arm and my left leg. Reaching down, opposite toe, standing up, reaching straight out like an airplane, hold, and in, and down. And out, and in, and down. Nice. We're going to do it off one leg. Remember your options. You can keep your toe here. Bring it up here. You can kick it out. All right, here we go. One. Two. Good. Lots of balance. Mobility muscles. Stabilizer muscles. Our core is working hard to keep us upright. Good. One more. Good, other leg. One. That's it, team. Exhale. Deep breath in. And exhale. Good stuff. Two more. Good, one more. Nice work. Okay, moving into our plank. You're going to lift one arm. This time, if you want to make it a little more challenging for yourself, um, you can also, okay, sorry, you can also do this off your knees too, okay? But if we're doing a plank on our toes, and you're lifting an arm and you want to make it more challenging, try to lift the opposite foot at the same time, okay? All right, we're going to do five per arm. Here we go. One. Down. Two. Again, you can do this off your knees. If you're doing it off your knees, you're going out, hold, and in. Ooh. Off your toes. for you, doesn't it? Okay, good challenge. Uh, moving on, what's next? Oh, side plank, okay. So, doing it off our knees. Again, I'm gonna keep my elbow right under the shoulder for support. Knees are bent, okay? And then clamming it at one, driving that bottom hip up to the ceiling, 
So as I clam, I'm not falling to the floor. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, two more. Good, one more. Good. All right, other side. Okay, two, three, two, one. Here we go up, knees bent, clamming it out, one, and in, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, keep going. Eight, one, two more. Drive. Good. Keep those hips high. Up, up, up. Good. Awesome. Okay. Plank position. We're gonna do that downward dog to cobra. If you have both your hands or your forearms on the floor. If not, we're just doing downward dog into plank with the one arm. Okay. All right. Five per arm. Here we go. Downward dog. Reach for the opposite knee. Out, plank, hold. Up. Out, plank, hold. Three. Four. One more. Nice. Other arm. Here we go. Out. Reach that arm up to knee. Out. Two. shoulder press, suit cans, dumbbells, if you have them, okay, here we go, again, you can kick that leg straight out if you like, three, two more, nice, one more, 
switching legs. Whoop. Four. Gauge that core. That's it. Two more, two more, two more. Good. One more. Good. Okay. And last, but not least for the day, let's do the plank position. <laughs> plank position, extending one arm out and the opposite leg, okay? We're going to do 10 total, then we'll grab a drink of water and move on. There we go. And down. Core is engaged. Up. And down. Making it a little easier for yourself, try putting your feet a little wider. Woo! <laughs> That's it. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. stabilizer muscles can make me sweat more than a boot camp. Whew. So, as I change the music here, we are going to move to some stretching. As I said, sculpt. A little different than our traditional upbeat classes, okay? That's all important. Also, before we begin, when you finish this, con when you finish this workout today, comment below. Let me know what you've been up to. I've been doing a lot of house cleaning, organizing, painting, painting, and painting. Seems to never end. And uh, yeah, that's what I've been up to. So let me know what you've been up to. Maybe reading some new books, taking an online course, starting a new hobby. Let me know. I'm curious. All right, we're gonna start with some stretching. We're gonna lay down on your back. You gently grab your knees, pulling your knees to chest. Relax your head on the floor, and we're going to rock side to side. Good, we're going to take our knees, and we're going to roll our knees in one direction. And other way. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Deep breath in. And exhale. Good. Okay, we're going to come up. We're going to sit on our butt. Deep breath in. Exhale, legs are straight. You're going to reach down for your toes. Remember, if you can't quite reach your toes, no problem. Just reach for your knees or your shins or your shoelaces. And if you can reach your toes, reach them. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Reach down a little further. Good. We're going to roll our shoulders back. Good. We're going to lay down on our stomach. We're going to bend one knee and you're going to reach up for that foot. If you can't quite reach your foot, grab your pant leg, your sock, the back of your shoe, or if you can, that foot. Okay. Relax your head on the ground. And I want you, when we're here, I want you to take your hip. So I have my left leg bent. I'm going to push my left hip into the floor. When you push it into the floor, you'll feel a little bit more of a stretch through the front quad. Just holding. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Good. Slowly switching legs.
Gently pushing your hip into the floor. Good, slowly coming up. We come into our pigeon stretch. So that's the one where we're in plank position. You bring one knee in and then bring that foot across. So if I'm up here in the front, you can see my foot is gonna come across my body, okay? You wanna be at the top of your mat so that when you extend your back leg out, your knee is still on the nice cushy mat. I'm gonna bring it down to my forearms and I wanna feel a stretch in my outer hip and glute. Go ahead, take a deep breath in. Exhale, let's extend our arms straight out in front of you. So to intensify your stretch, you're just gonna extend those arms straight out. It's gonna put a little bit more pressure into that outer hip and glute. Take deep breaths, deep breath in. And exhale. Good, we're gonna come on up and we're gonna switch. Extending that back leg out, sitting nice and tall, feeling that stretch in that outer hip and glute. You might have one side that's a little bit tighter than the other. Bring it down onto the forearms. Extending your arms straight out in front of you if you'd like to intensify your stretch. Coming on up. Good, we're gonna roll out of that stretch into the sitting position. Take a deep breath in, reaching for the ceiling. Exhale, relax your arms. Tilt your head to the side, opposite palm to the floor. And other side. Good, give me a smile. I miss seeing all your faces. Good, roll your chin. Good, deep breath in. And exhale. One more time, deep breath in. And exhale. Okay team, so that's it for today. I just wanna say thanks for joining me all the time. Um, I know in this strange world we're living in right now, uh, doing these classes really helps me feel more connected to you. So thank you for joining me. Um, comment below on what you guys have been up to. I miss you all. Take care. Have a great day. I will see you tomorrow for uh, triple fit time. So a little bit of cardio, a little bit of weight training, and a little bit of stretching and core at the end. Okay? So have a good day. Hi, Kev. Hi, Kath. Hi, Jen. Hi, Maria. Hi, Liz. Hi, Christina. Mwah. Love you all. Bye, guys. Take care.